If there's one aspect of WooCommerce that leaves people a little cold and confused, it's how to set up shipping. In this video, I'm going to take you through the three key stages on exactly how to set up your shipping. So by the end of this video, you're going to have your shipping in place and a good understanding of how those three key principles all work. So firstly, before we start, let's break this down, what the three key stages are of setting up your shipping with WooCommerce. The first thing is shipping zones and methods. Now, what exactly is a shipping zone? Well, shipping zone is basically where you want to ship your product to. For example, it could be a country, it could be a state, it could be right the way down to a postcode. So we have to make sure that we set all those up that are relevant to the shipping methods. The next thing is, is the shipping rates. So we have three basic kinds of shipping rates we can use with WooCommerce straight out of the box. We've got a flat fee per order, we've got a flat rate per item, and we've got percentage-based shipping. We'll cover all three of those methods and take a look at some more advanced ways of working with those as we go through and jump to section two. And finally, we have stage three, which is shipping classes. Now, shipping classes allow us to create product-specific charges so we can apply those to a product-by-product -product basis. And again, we'll take a look at that in the third stage of this video. So now we've taken a look at what those three methods are, let's take a look at setting up the first part, which is the shipping zones and methods. If you just installed WooCommerce and you log into your dashboard, you should see an add shipping and method zones pop up like you can see at the top of the screen. So you could access the shipping zones directly from here, but if you don't have this message, it's easy to still access that information. All we need to do is come up to WooCommerce on the left hand side, come down to the settings section. Once we're in there, you can see we have an option for shipping. So we can click and open up the shipping options. Once we're in there, you can see we can add shipping zones directly into this area. So from here, we could easily go in and start creating our shipping zones. There's one other thing I want to draw your attention to before we start setting that up. Now, say, for example, you're in a particular country, you're selling a physical product and you only want to deal with that particular country or a range of countries. We can do that. And to access that, we simply come to the general section under the settings of WooCommerce. And you can see if we scroll down, we've got general options, at which point we've got selling locations and shipping locations. So by using these options, we can limit exactly where we can sell and or where we ship to. So let's put that into place. Let's just say, for example, I want to sell to specific countries. You can see I've got sell to all countries, sell to all countries except four, which means I can fine tune in a quicker and easier fashion, or I can sell to specific countries. For this example, let's say sell to specific countries. What we're going to do is we're going to come in there and we're going to start typing in and you can see this will go through and start filtering out exactly where I want to actually allow selling. So you can see we've got select all, select none. So I say sell to specific countries. So we're going to use that. We say the UK and we'll also say Ireland. So I've now set that up. So I already actually sell to two specific countries. We can now do the same thing with the shipping. So we can come in and say ship to specific countries only ship to all countries you sell to, to all countries, or disable shipping and shipping calculations. What we're gonna say, ship to all countries you sell to. This is a quick and easy way of saying, I only want to be able to ship to Ireland and UK, or in your case, whatever countries you may set up in there. Once we've done that, we come down and we just click on save changes to apply that. So we've now limited where we can sell and ship to. Next thing we can do is come back over to that shipping tab, and we'll see we've got the shipping zones already set up and waiting for us. So now we just click on add a shipping zone and we can now start setting up the shipping zones. Now you can work with shipping zones in a very broad sense or you can work with them in a very specific sense. And what I mean by that is we can name them anything we want, but when we've got the zone regions, if we want to start using this, you can see we can come in and even though we've chosen Ireland and the UK, we can break this down to specific areas inside Ireland or the UK. If we scroll through, you can see we've got quite a few different Irish locations. We've got the UK, we can also limit to specific zip or postcodes. This allows us to really get in and fine tune exactly where we want to sell and how much it's going to cost to any of those locations. Let's keep this quite broad to start off with. Let's just say UK shipping. So we set that up. The regions you want to sell to, we can simply come down, scroll down to there and we say UK. So that's going to set up our first shipping charge because we want to have one charge to ship to the UK and a different charge to ship to Ireland. So once we've done that, we can say save the changes. And now we can start adding in our shipping methods. So our first zone is set up. Now we can set up the method. So we say add shipping method. And in there, we've got some options. We've got flat rate, free shipping, or local pickup. Now this depends upon what you want to offer. For us, we're gonna be using the flat rate for this example. So we'll choose flat rate and say add shipping method. 
So once that's done, we've now added the flat rate in there, but we haven't actually applied any fee to that flat rate. So currently it's sitting at zero. So the next thing we need to do is click on flat rate, and then we can come in and we can start editing the costs for that. So the first thing we've got to configure is the method title. So this is just a name that you want to give to this particular shipping method. You can put whatever you want in there, but obviously it makes sense to put something that's applicable to the charge and potentially the location. Next up, we've got the option for, is this a taxable charge? In other words, do you apply tax to your shipping? If you do, you can set it to be taxable. This will then take that shipping method and apply tax to it. If that's not applicable to you, you can simply set that to be none. And then finally, we've got the cost. Now, there's a couple of things we can do in here. We don't have to simply put in a simple flat fee. But for now, we're going to do that. I'm going to come back later and revisit this, and we'll take a look at how we can use other methods on there, some simple calculations, some formulas, to get a little bit more creative on how we set our charges. For now, let's just set this a flat fee of 295, and we'll click on Save Changes. So we've now created our very first shipping zone and our shipping method. So just to commit those changes, let's hit Save Changes to make sure that all our settings are in place and saved before we move on to the next step. So now that we've set up our UK-based shipping zone, let's go back and set up the one for Ireland. All we need to do is come back to Shipping Zones. You can see our UK shipping is now set up and created. It tells us the region is the UK and we've set the flat rate shipping fee. Let's add a second shipping zone in and this we're going to call this Ireland shipping regions we know it's going to be Ireland but like I say if you wanted to fill this down to various different regions inside Ireland you could do just that let's just choose Ireland add our shipping method flat rate is correct add our shipping method again but for this time we're going to click to edit and we're going to set this one to be 495 so we've got a higher rate if you're based in Ireland and we set that tax out to be none and we'll say save changes so we've now created two shipping zones. And if we come back up to the shipping zone section, you can see UK shipping and islands all set up. We've also got locations not covered by other zones. So if you were shipping somewhere else and you hadn't set shipping charges up for that, you could set a global flat rate up on there if you wanted to, to ship to any other country that's not included in your shipping zones. So now we've seen how to create our shipping zones. What if we wanted to do something that was for free shipping? Well, there's various different ways we could do that. Let's take a look at one simple option. Let's add another shipping zone in. I'm going to call this free UK shipping. We're going to limit this to be UK. So again, we'll come down, limit it to the United Kingdom. We could, if we wanted to, again, limit this to postcodes or zip codes. But for now, we'll just leave that to be the whole of the UK. Again, we'll just add our shipping method. But this time, instead of flat rate, we're going to come in and we're going to say free shipping. Add our shipping method. So that now installs the free shipping option. Now, if we come in and edit that, you can see everything looks the same as it did before, except for the fact there's nothing on here about taxation, because obviously we're looking at free shipping. What we have, though, is free shipping requires. We then have four different options, a valid free shipping coupon, minimum order amount or coupon and a coupon. Let's just choose the minimum order amount of simplicity. And we'll say that if someone spends more than 50 pounds or whatever currency you're working with, they'll get free shipping. So we'll save our changes. And we've got another shipping method in there. So we jump back to our shipping zones. We now have free UK shipping. So if someone meets that criteria by spending more than £50 in their basket, they will get access to free shipping, but only if they're in the UK. So hopefully what you can see is you can use these methods to very quickly build up quite a complex way of shipping and setting up shipping charges based upon various different criteria. So that's basically stage one. We've created the shipping zones and the shipping methods and applied some basic rates to them. So now that we've gone ahead and seen how to set up the shipping zones and methods, the next thing we need to do is to go through and set up the shipping rates. Now we've seen how to apply free shipping. We've also seen how to set up a flat rate, but we're not limited to just flat rates. Let's take a look at how we can do a little bit more with that, with the three different options we have, the flat fee per order, flat fee per item, and a percentage-based shipping option. So let's come into our UK shipping, let's edit that, and then let's just open up our flat rate and edit that. Now you can see we set a value of 295 in there, so we know we've got a flat rate. So every time you order something with that flat rate, there's a flat single fee of £2.95 assigned as shipping. That's great if you only have one item to purchase or very small items, but if someone buys 10 of those items, it can start to get a little bit unwieldy and also probably means that your shipping rate is going to be nowhere near enough. So how do we cope with that? Well, we can do a flat rate per item. 
So this is currently set as a flat fee per order. To do flat fee per item is very, very easy. All we need to do is start using a simple formula inside the shipping setup. So what we do is we use the square brackets and we put QTY for quantity, then close the square brackets, and then we use the multiply symbol. Now what does this do? It says the quantity of items in the shopping basket will be charged at $2.95 per item. So by itself, that's pretty cool, but we're not limited just very simple calculations. We can go a lot further. Now, I'm not going to cover lots of different advanced costs in this. This is just a simple three-step process, but I just want to demonstrate that you're not limited to just applying flat fees or a quantity and a fee per item. We can do things like set a flat fee and then add a per item charge on top of that. To do that, we're simply going to need to remove the current calculation. And if we insert our new calculation, Let's take a look at what's going on there. We're saying 10 plus two times quantity. So if your formulas in Excel are kind of something you're used to, then this is gonna make a little sense to you. If not, don't worry, it's not as complex as it first looks. What we're effectively saying is that we wanna charge a flat rate of 10 pounds plus two pounds per item on top of that. So if they only bought one item, it would cost them 12 pounds. They bought two items, 14 pound and so on. So for every additional item they have in their basket, it will charge them an additional two pounds or whatever currency you're working with. Now, hopefully what this demonstrates is that the actual power that you have available to you inside the flat rate shipping is a lot more extensive than you may first think. So just by using some simple formulas, we can create much more complex based shipping charges. We've seen how to set a flat rate for shipping. We've seen how to set a per item based rate on shipping and also how to set a per item and a flat rate in combination. So this should give you a lot of functionality. There's a third method as well. We've got percentage-based shipping charges. And setting up percentage-based charges is pretty much the same as dealing with the costs with a flat fee. What we need to do is remove this, and we're gonna use this simple example. So what we're saying is the cost of the items is charged an additional 10% for shipping. So if you had an item that cost 100 pounds, the shipping would be £10. If it was £200, it would be £20. So it's 10% of the cost of the cart. So this is an easy way of being able to set up a percentage-based shipping. And obviously, if you want to combine this with a flat fee on top of that, you could do all those kinds of calculations as well. But hopefully, what I've demonstrated is that there's a lot more power under the hood of the flat rate shipping than you might have thought initially. So let's just save this change, and let's take a look at this in action, see exactly how it works in your shopping cart. Save our changes. Everything else should now be in place. So what we're gonna do is jump out to our store and take a look at how this works. So we're into our shop and let's just add an item in. So let's just say we'll take this beanie. So we're gonna come down, we'll add that to our cart. Once it's added to the cart, we'll just jump over to and take a look. And you can see there's our beanie at 18 pounds. And if we take a look, we've now got a flat rate shipping of one pound 80. In other words, 10% of the cost. If we now set that to be two and update our cart, we'll now see that we have £3.60 as our flat rate. So again, 10% of the overall total of whatever's in our cart. So it's very easy to use these kinds of shipping methods to build up quite complex shipping options throughout your entire store. Also, depending upon where you're shipping to, what country, what state, zip codes, postcodes, all those kinds of good things so you can get very creative and set up shipping charges that should match pretty much all of your requirements. So now we've set up the first two parts. The third and final part is to set up the shipping classes. Now this is something that's pretty much optional. If you don't have any need to set up additional charges on top of your flat rates, then you can basically bypass this stage. However, if you have items that basically don't fit into that pricing structure for sending them out, maybe heavy items and so on, then this is gonna give you the ability to quickly and easily add additional options without messing about with setting up multiple different rates. And what exactly are classes? Well, let's just say, for example, you have an item that's very, very big or very heavy and will cost a lot more than your flat rate shipping charge. How would you cope with that? Well, that's where shipping classes come in. We can assign additional charges on top of our standard shipping for specific items. Now, to access that, again, we're in the settings section of WooCommerce and we need to go over to shipping classes. Select that, that'll take us through and we can now create our first shipping class. So what we're gonna do is say, add a shipping class. We've got three options. We've got the shipping class name, the slug, and the description. We only need to set two of these if you use shipping classes at all. Now, the shipping class name, self-explanatory, what exactly is this shipping class? And the description, as its name would suggest, is gives you a bit more detail over the name. 
The slug will be automatically created when you create your shipping class, but if you wanted to change that, you could do to give it something unique. So let's just say we're going to give this name of heavy goods. And we're going to say this is heavy items class. So we'll say save our shipping classes. We've created that, and as you can see, the slug is automatically created. And now that we've created our shipping class, we can now configure the details for it. So what we need to do is jump back over to shipping zones. Once we're back over there, we can now go through and set this up for any areas that we want to cover. So let's just start, start off with the UK shipping. We'll come in and edit that. You can see flat fee. Everything looks exactly the same as it did before. All we need to do is click on the flat rate. And now we have some additional options. Because we've created shipping classes, we now have additional sections for those shipping classes. So you can see we've got our base cost, which is set up at the top. And this will apply to every single shipping option. All we need to do now is add the extra charge on for this particular shipping class. So we're going to say that heavy goods, anything that fits into that particular shipping class is going to have an additional charge of £10 applied to it. So you can see we can set that up. So that's our heavy goods shipping class. Underneath, we've also got no shipping class costs, which we can apply if we want to. But for this example, it's not relevant. And then finally, we have the calculation type. From here, we can choose per class, which will charge the shipping for each individual shipping class individually, or per order, charge the shipping for the most expensive shipping class. So obviously you need to set whatever is relevant to your particular store setup. We're gonna choose this to be the most expensive shipping class, for example, and we'll say save the changes. So we've now created and set up and configured the amount of money that's applied to our new heavyweight shipping class. But how do we use that? How do we assign it to anything? Well, what we need to do is come into the particular product or products that we want to assign this to and apply that shipping class. So let's come back into our products and say all products. We can take a look at everything inside our store. And let's just choose something we're going to say is going to have this applied to it. So we're going to come down and we'll say, we'll keep it really simple. We'll say the beanie with logo. So we can edit that. Once that's loaded up, we scroll down and look under the shipping tab you'll see we have shipping class. Currently, there's no shipping class associated with this particular product. So we'll just use the default cost per item to be shipped. However, if we want this to have a shipping class associated with it, we simply choose from all the options available. We've only got one, which is the heavy goods. We're gonna click on that. We now associate that shipping class with it and we'll say update. Once that's updated, we can then take a look at this product. So let's preview this product and we'll see that in our store. So you can see there's our beanie with logo, it's 18 pounds. So let's just add that to our cart and let's go to our cart and take a look. So we can now see that our shipping rate is 15 pounds 40 because we've had that advanced shipping charge applied to the heaviest item in this particular setup, this particular order. So we've assigned that additional charge on top of our standard charge. I hope that makes sense. It can get a little confusing when you're just looking at figures and things on screen like this. But like I say, what we're doing is we're setting this up that any item that has that more expensive heavyweight class associated with it, it will have an additional charge. So there we go. That's how we configure shipping charges inside WooCommerce. Hopefully this three-stage process has demonstrated it's not as complicated as you may have first thought, but it's also incredibly powerful if you want to go beyond the basics of just some simple flat rate shipping. Now, speaking of going beyond the basics, if you'd like to see more about these advanced techniques, check out this video. It's going to go into a lot more detail about how you can start to utilize these advanced techniques to actually work with shipping in WooCommerce. Now, speaking of videos, if you'd like to see more and get more out of both WooCommerce and WordPress, check out some of the other great videos in this channel. We'll have some lists at the end of the video so you can check those out. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider using those affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel and help us create more content for you. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.